What's up gamers, Decisive TV here. I'm back for another video. I'm a certified genius and here's why. But a real quick message from our sponsor, Decisive TV. Why hello there Mr. Decisive, I know you've been wanting a sponsor for quite a while. Why yes I have. Why have I got a deal for you and your viewers? How about you tell them about our merch and how they can have 31% off using the code Decisive15. But why is it called Decisive15 if you get 31% off? Don't worry about it. And also, we agreed that you would be saying that to the audience, not to me. Oh, well by golly. Well viewers, you can have 15, I mean 31% off your next purchase at the Decisive TV merch store. Just enter the code Decisive15 at checkout. The link is in the description. Alrighty, well you guys heard it. You can use uh, promo code Decisive15 to get 31% off. I don't know why it's like that. The sponsor of this video is kind of dumb but however i'm not i'm a certified genius just today february 2nd of 2021 starship 9 or starship serial number 9 actually went up into the air it went up 10 kilometers and uh whenever it came down and it landed it landed but it kind of exploded into a million pieces which was kind of sad i came up with a solution maybe probably i don't know i'm kind of a genius so it might be a solution to actually get SN10 to not do the same thing that SN9 did. Let's take a quick look at what SN9 did that SN10 shouldn't. For the landing burn. Anyway, as you can see in that video, SN9 kind of, uh, it was doing its belly flop and then it kind of kicked, but it, it went like, it kind of went like this and then it went a little bit too far, so it kind of like fell down just like that. And uh, so I came up with this genius plan on how to make SN10 not do that. So so basically here here is the explanation that I have. So at the start of the launch, obviously the Starship would actually use three Raptor engines. And as it went further up, it would use two Raptor engines to save a little bit of fuel. And then it would hover just like it did uh, today. And uh, then it would do its first kick to, in order to get into the belly flop position. It would glide over to where its landing zone would be. And then it needs to fall just a bit. So it's going to fall about... Uh, I was thinking about two kilometers. I didn't specify in the, I didn't specify it in the image, but about two kilometers would be pretty good. And then it'll kick on the uh, the first Raptor engine. And then it would start to rotate slowly in order to get back into its uh, angled position that it needs to be at. And right as soon as it does that kick, uh, the second kick, it needs to it needs to turn on the second Raptor engine for just a split second so it gives it a bit more thrust in order to come down. And then right as soon as it does that, it can turn off its second engine once it gets about right here. Use the first engine to go a little bit and then use the second engine whenever it gets about uh, a kilometer, 500 meters uh, till the launch pad and then it can use both the Raptor engines to slowly come down and maybe all three right as soon as it's about to actually touch and so this would save it a lot of thrust and it would have a nice soft landing now I know I'm I'm pretty much a genius I solved all of SpaceX's problems that they had and SpaceX should just hire me right now give me a, an aeronautic engineer degree uh, which is actually why I'm going to college I, I want to do all this space stuff but I thought it was actually pretty interesting uh, <laughs> I got quite a bit of feedback on Twitter uh, it was actually all pretty good uh, for the most part at least from what I saw so uh, I thought it was pretty interesting and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Yeah, no, I think the the picture actually looks pretty good. It's a pretty good representation of um, something a very much professional, somebody who's certified with a master's degree in engineering would do. Looks nothing like a toddler on what a toddler would make. And no, they are not dicks. They are rockets and they will fly all the way to outer space, fuel up each other and be good. I don't know why people keep saying they look like penises. I've gotten a lot of a lot of hate saying it, they look like penises. I don't think they do. I don't think so. If it's to that point, there's a problem. And if it has a face on it, there's a problem. So you might want to get it checked out if you think it looks like a dick. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And go ahead and go check out the merch. Link will be in the description. Remember, Decisive 15 for 31% off for some reason. Again, that sponsor guy, idiot. Absolute idiot. I'm a genius, though. So don't worry about it, guys. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.